Try that again. So again, I've gone out and looked at articles for this, and some of them say do it this way, some of them say do it this way. Rather than the app bundle, I'm just gonna click APK right there. Build a signed APK that you can deploy to a, to a device. I click next, and it's, it's looking in here for what's called a key store. And it saves a bunch of information like that for you. I don't have a key store for this one, so I'm going to create a new one, all right? And it asks where you wanna save it. Well, I'm gonna click the file icon here, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I've got a folder under Rankin Desktop. I've got a folder that I called RS for Ridiculously Simple. All right, so now I'm there, and it asks for a name. And I'm just gonna put in here, Ridiculously Simple App. And I'm keeping it as one word, all right? When I click OK, you can see the path has now been filled in. C colon users, rank and desktop, RS, Ridiculously Simple App dot JKS. JKS stands for Java Key Store. All right, so put a password in here. All right, then if you want, you can put in an alias, which is kind of a key for the key. I'm gonna just put in here RSA for ridiculously simple app. Then you have your choice. You can put in the same password here, or you can have a new one. I'm gonna put in a different one. All right, they ask how long, <clears throat> how long you want this to be good for. I just hope I'm still here in 25 years. So that should be plenty. Put in your name, the unit, and I put in Rankin Technical <clears throat> College, <clears throat> I'll just put in IT department. The organization is just rank in technical college. The city, Wentzville, the state, Missouri, the zip or country code. All right, so I put all that in, I click okay. <clears throat> if it has a problem here, it'll occasionally come up with a error box if for some reason when you put the password in and the confirm password you did they didn't match all right so it's got all this stuff in there yeah i'll tell it to remember my passwords and i'm going to click next now it says in here what what do you want well i want the release i'm trying to release this to the play store and i found it works better when you click both of these the v1 jar signature and the v2 full app signature so I've clicked them both and I'm going to click finish. Now what you'll see, if I can bring up my build here, which isn't coming up of course, but uh, if it was, it is going through the build process right now. All right, and if it finds something as it's going through that build process that it doesn't like, it will not go on until you fix it. All right, and the reason that I'm telling you that is uh, I was going to do, like I said, one of, was going to do a different app and uh, an existing one for you. But for some reason, it had a problem with one of my files. I had a ping file in there and it just had nothing but problems with it. So. I don't know why it's not showing me that, but it's not. I will be able to tell whether or not uh, it actually came up and it worked because I can go to my desktop here and I can search for star.apk. All right. I'm going to look at my details. It says that it finished with no errors. And if you look right here, there's my release APK, 129. So this is the one that I'm going to want. All right. Why am I telling you that? Why should we care? 
Because when we go back again, and we go back to when we go back to our page that we use in order to be able to, to basically save everything on here. So where is it? There it is. All right. I'm going to come in here now for the app release. Okay. So it comes in there and there's different ways that you can release this. This is an FYI for you. And I'm no, by no means an expert on this. If you choose production, which is what I'm going to choose, you're telling it, boom, you want it to go right to the app store. But maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe before you send it out to the app store, you want to make it available for anybody who wants to, to test it. You might do this, if, especially if it was a game of some merit, all right, and you can put it in beta mode by choosing open track. You can also choose closed track, and if you do that, what you end up doing is you give about three or four emails of people that you will allow. They will be sent an email saying, hey, uh, so-and-so has created this app, and they want you to test it. The other stuff I've never looked at, the internal and the pre-registration. I've never touched any of that. So I'm just going to choose the production track, and I'm going to choose manage here. And when I come in, again, it says seven times or more, or seven days or more before it gets accepted. So what do I want? Current release. And now it's going to ask me <clears throat> for that APK file. But before it does, which is down here, it's, there's a, a fairly new thing in here, as you can see. It says, do you want to let Google manage and protect your app signing key? The, the disadvantage of doing that is you're giving some of your information to Google. Okay. The advantage to doing that is if you ever put a new version of the app out there and you forget the signing key. All right. And if Google doesn't have it by you clicking continue here, you've got to go through the process all over again. And you've got to, you've got to go basically and resubmit it with a different key. So the easiest way is to just say, yeah, Google, you take care of it. So I click continue. And now it's asking me for my APK. Let's see if I can grab that. And again, that's the release one that's right here. I'm going to drag that in there. <clears throat> in an ideal world, this will come up and you'll see it right away. Damn it. Did I put, oh my gosh, did I put com example? Okay. Damn it. All right. When I first created this, well, it shows you one of the errors that you can get. And that is, this is a restricted uh, package name, com.example. I don't believe I did that, but I did that. And I don't know. I've tried doing this before. I went in there, and I tried doing a refactor rename. And it didn't take it. It still had a problem with it. But I'll try it again. It says multiple directories correspond to this. All right. So I'm going to say here, and see if it changes it. And see it didn't. All right. Son of a gun. So, oh boy, oh boy, I guess I'm going to go through and I'm going to try it again with a, diff with a different app. If I'm boring the hell out of you or if maybe you're laughing at me, that's fine. Um, you can feel free to just drop off and watch the tape because the, the one that I did Saturday where I put the um, rock, paper, scissors, it's 24 minutes long. And it went like that. There was not a problem with it. All right. This one, unfortunately, had some problems with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this one. And I'm going to bring up my fortune teller or fortune cookie one. And I'm going to go through the steps all over again. So if you think you'd have any problems with this, okay, you can take a look. 
I might look in five minutes and there might be nobody on here still watching. And that's fine too. I'm going to keep doing this though. <clears throat> First thing to check, it's got edu.rankin.jp, Scott. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. You probably remember this one. This was that fortune cookie app. I changed the fortunes in it because I didn't like them, but that's fine. So stop the run. I'm going to run through all the steps all over again. Let's build the APK first this time. So I'm going to do a build, generate. Choose APK next. I will, again won't have one here. So it's going to ask me for my path. I'm going to create a new. All right. And again, I'm going to come out here, Rankin, Desktop, I'll use the same one that I had before. Well, maybe it won't like that. Try just the desktop, that's fine. And I'm gonna give it the name Fortune. All right, and click OK. There it is, it's gonna need a password. It's a Fortune Cookie app, so I'm gonna put FCA for Fortune Cookie app. Run through the same stuff we did before. In other words, my name. Okay. Passwords do not match. Lovely. Everything should now be set. Remember the password, click next, release, choose them both, click finish. It now should be going through the build process. There it is. So it's running through the build process. Again, if it finds any errors, it'll put them over here. This will take, depending on the speed of your machine, anywhere from a few seconds to quite a few seconds. All right, to maybe a few minutes. I know when I did it yesterday, on Saturday, it was about four minutes. Okay, it seems to be going faster right now than it was over the week. No, done. All right, so that's good. So I've got that done. So I'm gonna have to jump back to where I was before. So I'm right here. And I'm gonna click back on all applications. I'm gonna take the one that I've got in draft mode, this ridiculously simple app, and I'm gonna can it. So it's gone now. There we go. Create application. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Title. I'm going to call it Fortune Teller App. That's plenty. Okay. And I'm going to come in here. This Android app tells your fortune not really okay and then for my full description this is an android app which when you click the button on page or activity 
main, you get your fortune on the second page or activity. Not a great description, but you know what? That'll work. All right. <clears throat> Same thing here. It wants a high resolution icon. So this is going to be a waste of your time, but I'm going to do it all anyway. So I'm going to go out to, to Google Images and I'm going to type in fortune cookie. Five twelve by five twelve. All right, and I'm going to do a save image as. I'm just calling it logo. It's not a great thing, but it'll work. Saving that right there, and I'm going to need another one that's going to be a thousand twenty four by five hundred. And I just, uh, I don't like that one, that one. No, I don't like any of these, but I'm just grabbing one. How's that? So save image as. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to jump back again to where I just was on here. So for my high res, it's asking me what I want. It's on the desktop, it's called Logo. I'm gonna put my mouse over it first to guarantee it is not 500 by 512 by 512. So I'm gonna reopen that and paint, and I'm gonna resize it to 512 by 512. All right. So this should be my image. There it is, that's the way that it'll look. It wants some screenshots, so I'm gonna take a couple, which means I've gotta go back into Android and run the program again. I wish I had, but I didn't. That's okay. All right, so there's one. There's two. There's three. Two of them are almost identical to one another, but that's fine. All right, so I'm going to go back here. And it asks for these. So I'm going to browse files. Go back down here. Here's the first one. All right, I'm gonna grab another one. And then next one is on the one that you see on the second page. And I'll grab one more. All right, so I now have those. For this feature graphic, it's going to be the same kind of thing. I called it big logo, but it's probably not the right size, so I'm going to have to change it to 1,024 by 500. All right, I've done that should go right here momentarily. There it is. Again, I don't need a promo. Don't need any banner stuff. You can put that in if you want. Now it's not really a game, so I'm going to call it an application, and I'm going to call it an education application. All right, and uh, let's see what else do we want to do. The rating we do later, again, this HTTPS colon slash slash Rankin.edu. 
my email. I'm going to leave the phone blank and click Save Draft. Hopefully, there that's green. That's a good start. All right. There's the app release. So I'm going to do that one next. I already mentioned a lot of this stuff to you in here. So I'm going to go to the production. I want to create release. I will continue. I will try to drop my file in here now and see if it works. So let's check, let's see. Thought I rebuilt this, but it's not showing it there. So I will rebuild it again. It says the build was successful. At 142. I should have that. I don't know if this is it or not, but I'm going to try this one. Okay, there it is. The APK has been put in here. It is version 1.0. You actually should put something in here. All right, it says what's new in this release? Initial release. Fortune Teller app. That's fine. So I'm going to save. In an ideal world, this is going to go green. It did. So I'm now two out of five done. Then it asks for the content rating. All right. And I want to continue. It's going to ask me a whole bunch of questions. First, it wants, of course, my email address. But it's going to ask things like, is there sexual content in here? Is there violent content in here, et cetera? All right. I did change it to, let's see, content. Not really a game. I'm going to put in enter. Eh. I'll put in utility, that's fine, something like that. So it's gonna to start to ask me this stuff. Again, does it contain violence? No. Does it contain sexual, some stuff of a sexual nature? No. Is the language bad? No. Anything about controlled substances? No. Um, age restricted? No. Does it allow users to exchange content with other users? No. Does it share physical location? No. Does it allow the user to purchase goods? No. Is there anything with swastikas? No. Is the app a web browser or search engine? No. Save questionnaire. Calculate rating. So it's basically saying it's for all ages, et cetera, and all this good stuff that's in here. All right, apply rating. All right. And basically it's just saying anybody can use it and that's what I'd want anyway. Now I'll go to app content next. And it's going to ask, 
do I have ads on there? No, my app does not contain ads. They want the privacy policy and believe it or not, Rankin has one. All they want is the URL for the privacy policy. So I'm gonna give that to them. So there that is, save that. Did that, did that. Privacy pause, no. Ads, did that. I'm trying to see if I missed anything here. App access, it looks like. All functionality is accessible without special access. So that's done. Anybody can use this, but I'll, I'll say 18 and over. Shouldn't matter. Could it unintentionally appeal to children? I'm just gonna say no. All right. Uh, looks like I got some app details yet and some ad stuff to do. Show summary, manage, 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 manage. I'm looking for what I've missed. Content, learn more. I don't think there's anything in there I'd need. No. Submitted, submitted. That looks good. I'm trying to figure out right there why it's not finishing, but it's not. So I'm going to go on to pricing and distribution. It's going to be free. Right now, it's not available to any country. But what I want to do is click that button here. Now it's available to every country. All right, I'm going to click Save Draft. Yes, there's a couple more questions. Um, turn on advanced Google Play features, not advanced, I don't care. Integrate my services with actions, I don't need that either. Do not promote on Google Play. Content guidelines, sure, please check these. I acknowledge I'm not doing anything with export laws, save this. Now you'll notice everything that's there is checked. Everything that's got a circle in it. If I go back again to all applications, now my fortune teller app is in the ready to publish mode. All right? To my knowledge, that is all that you have to do. Hopefully somebody stuck around and is watching this. I really and truly right now have not looked. So I am finished. All right? Questions or whatever, feel free to email me. All right, talk to you later.